Yo, what up, Maisie family? Welcome back to the channel. As you guys can tell and as you guys can see, Mesa got a whole mustache and a whole beard, but you know what? I am digging it. I am loving it. I love how it looks. I was actually just on Instagram Live, by the way. If you don't follow me on Instagram, it's just it's Mesa. Go follow me on Instagram. I will be checking who shows some love and I will be showing some love back. But anyways, I was on IG Live and I was this close to shaving it, y'all. But y'all stopped me and I said, you know what? I'm gonna just clean it up and line it up. And so this is right now how my mustache looks like and my beard and the whole septum i changed it it's like a silver one now i think it looks so much better but i want to update you guys what's going on why i haven't been posting where i have been what i have been doing the real question is what have y'all been doing throughout this whole quarantine time because it's been literally two months since quarantine has started for me i'm from the chicago area by the way comment down below where are you from and if quarantine is still happening for you guys or if it got extended longer than what you thought it was going to be because if it did that sucks. Ours is supposed to end at the end of May, so beginning of June. Hopefully this is all over with so I can finally go see Noe because I have not seen my little baby, my boy, my everything, my best friend in about like almost two months. In a couple days, it's gonna be literally two months that I have not seen Noe only because of the coronavirus going on and I don't want to get him sick. I have not had any symptoms of coronavirus. I was sick at one point throughout the time, maybe it was like three weeks ago, and it was more like congestion, and then I had like kind of like a sore throat, but never once did I cough, or it, never did I have like a hard time of breathing. All the symptoms or whatever of corona, never did I have that, I just felt like a regular type of sickness. And I feel like some of y'all overthinking and feel like, oh my goodness, I think I got coronavirus, but really, you just got like a runny nose or you just have a regular cold. Because you gotta remember, although coronavirus is still going around, there's still symptoms of a regular cold or just some allergies since allergy season is going on. But yeah, I'm okay, I am good, I'm feeling healthy, I'm feeling alive, I'm feeling great. Uh, the reason why I haven't been posting a lot on my YouTube channel is first of all, I am not gonna be making a video for you guys knowing that my attitude and how I am usually on my videos is not there. And never do I like to be fake on my videos as far as my personality, how I carry myself. I just wanna be genuine in all of my videos. And lately, I feel like I haven't been able to do that. And now, everything that's been around my life, well, what I have changed in my life throughout this quarantine has made me feel content. Like one of those feelings of like, you can take a deep breath and just lay back and just feel like you're good. I feel that way right now. As you guys can tell in the background of my room, it is not an ugly color of like a yellowish egg color. I tried going for a color that looked blue, but more gray. And it turned out to look super blue, but that's okay. And then I did the whole white trim on the room. I'm not gonna give you guys a whole room tour only because I just wanna kinda make this specific video as far as like what has changed around my life throughout this quarantine. So one of the biggest ones is definitely my room. It just looks completely different. Just the whole setup of it all. I feel more confident, comfortable making videos in this lighting, just this setting. I think I'm gonna be making my videos over here on this wall only because it's like an empty wall. There's nothing there and it's just gonna be more simple and just straight to the point that it is me who you guys are watching since i hope y'all love watching me and seeing my videos right <laughs> right so if you love watching my videos don't forget to of course smash the like button and if you are not part of the amazing family subscribe to the channel be part of the amazing family because like i always say you are amazing man it feels good to say that i feel like i haven't said that in a long time or in a while only because I've been posting videos like once a week, but I'm still throwing content for you guys. So another thing that I've also been working on is my car. I finally feel super like confident, not to flex, but I feel good about my car. If I'm driving out or going somewhere or just stepping inside my car, I just feel great about it. Like I did so much to that car, it's crazy. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be posting a video about my car of how much it changed and what I did to it after this video or before this video, but y'all will find out once I figure that out. So in brief, the whole environment of my room has changed and I feel so much better about it. And most importantly, physically myself, 
I have lost weight. I feel more confident in my face. Honestly, the reason why I grew up my stash and beard to be honest, I never really liked the look and I only grew it out for a certain reason. But because of quarantine, I am growing it out for random. And I also decided to grow out the top of my hair. Like I'm gonna grow out just the top part and do like a top knot, like grab it and tie it up. I haven't done that since I was 17. And I'm okay to just try a whole different look because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not leaving the house. I mean, I got a whole septum, I got a whole mustache, I got a whole goatee. It's all around different, so why not try something else? By the way, amazing family, I did the whole keto diet for a whole entire month and I lost so much weight. And my abs like already look like they're coming in, which is great because I want to look more defined or shredded or whatever. Also, Noah's birthday is coming up. His birthday is May 15th, which is a couple days from now. And I'm so, 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 so excited. Why? Because... He's turning three, and that means that he's gonna be four and then five. Oh my goodness, he's growing up too fast, guys. To be honest with you guys, I really, really miss him. There have been days where, as a dad, like, don't get me wrong, like, I don't forget that I'm a dad. Like, every day I know that I'm a dad. Like, I'm not just gonna forget I have a kid in my life. There's a son that loves me and thinks about me or misses me, you know? Like, I'm not gonna forget about that. And I question my biological father for those that didn't watch one of my other more closer type deeper level video i mentioned my biological father how i've never met him before he had five kids with my mom and he was able to just up and leave or never do anything to be there for them so for me it's like i cry about just the one kid that i have how much i miss him how much i want to just hug him and kiss him a couple days ago i actually had a dream about noe and for those that are basically really really new i'll show some pictures of my son here just so y'all can see how he looks like or how adorable he is because he is so cute but the dream was like i was sitting down like literally on the floor with my legs just crossed out like this like type of thing and no one was playing around my mom's legs because she was like washing dishes and so, you know, as a little kid, you're just walking around the kitchen and whatnot. I yell out Noah's name. I'm like, Noah, come here. And Noah turns around and I see his little smile and his curly hair. Dude, he is just gorgeous, adorable. And he turns around and says the phrase he always says when I jump on FaceTime with him, Bobby. And I'm like, Noe. And he starts running with his arms all open and I'm opening up my arms for him and he gets closer and he just like wraps his hands around like me and I just hug him so tight and I have like my neck against his neck and like it was just ah I woke up after that and I honestly teared up and started like tearing not crying crying but just tearing up because like I miss him so much to the point that I dream about my son and how much I just want to hold him and hug him it's just crazy how much I love him. But regardless, I know that at one point, soon enough, once this quarantine is over, I'm going to be able to see him, make videos with him, uh, kiss him so much, and finally able to just hug him. But the thing is that although I'm not there for him right now, I know that I'm never leaving his side and I'm never not gonna be there for him. Like I'm always going to love him as he gets older, as he starts to know how to talk or is aware about what's going on, like he's gonna know that I'm there for him and that's what matters the most to me. So I try not to be like negative Nancy Amazing Family and try to be positive about the situation because if Noah gets sick for some reason because of me, it's gonna make me feel like, no, I'm not even gonna say that. I just rather him not get sick in general. Noah's birthday is on May 15th and I'm still not sure what's gonna go down. I'm, I think I'm just gonna drop off a gift because of this whole pandemic so it's like super understandable for me maybe i will throw him a whole birthday party the next month when i get to see him for him even if it's not his birthday i think as long as i like celebrate something for him and he can memorize that day later on in life and he'd be like i had a third birthday party <laughs> you know i think that's what's going to be more important for me and for him rather than me just wanting to have him on that exact day does that make sense i don't know if i feel short or not i gotta like make sure i'm up here i hope you guys like my whole outfit today i'm wearing this pink hat this polo hat i have my ice cream cone shirt I haven't worn this shirt in a long time only because I got it stain somewhere here and I wanted to wait till I had all my white dirty clothes so I could wash that whole load together and it took a while for me to gather all my white clothes and once I finally did I was so happy so I'm rocking it on this video so it might seem like I have been gone and away from you guys but I promise I have not stopped thinking about you guys I have not stopped wanting to post videos for you guys it's only the fact that I know that I needed this time for myself 
And I'm so glad I was able to take this time for myself to just focus on me and the things I needed to do because sometimes I focus too much on the amazing family, which I love, 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 love so, 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 so much. So don't get me wrong, but like I know that there are things that I need to focus on myself, fixing my situations in general and everything and feeling more organized mentally and physically it has made me feel more confident and just better to just be back on youtube for you guys and posting more content for y'all i do have so much more content that i want to post for you guys not just sit down videos of me talking to y'all and doing helpful sit down relationship type videos i want to switch it up with more like challenges vlogs or even me just talking about random stuff like i am right now because it doesn't have to do with anything about helping y'all out but get to know me on a personal level on a one-on-one -on -one type of combo because I love talking to you guys like that too. I'm thinking about anything that I'm missing out that you guys might want to know. Hmm. Oh, I got a Mother's Day gift for my son's mom. Just because I appreciate her so much, I want to definitely show her my appreciation for her taking care of Noah every single day, especially since she has had him this whole quarantine. And ooh, if you, for some reason, creep on me or end up watching this video, like you have no idea how much I appreciate this girl. I have so much love for her for being able to do that because I know that little boy is something else. He's crazy, but like, I love his crazy. And I just, I don't know what I would do without him. So the fact that she's able to just keep him alive, keep him healthy, feed him, change him, does everything that she needs to do in order for him to be good. I just, I, I don't know what I, like there's nothing in this world that I can give her or offer her for me to make up everything that she's doing for him. Like there's nothing. I think the gift that I'm going to give her is something super, super thoughtful to the point that I'm going to be making a video on the Mother's Day gift that I got for her because it is super, super authentic and thoughtful and I've never seen anybody do this or give this to a mother and I'm excited for y'all to see it because I think it will also spark up a whole mother's gift idea for next year or for this year's or just a thoughtful gift in general if you want to do this. So be excited to find out what I'm going to be giving my son's mom for Mother's Day. Anyways, thank y'all so much for watching. Again, I'm not leaving y'all. I'm here always and forever. We going to keep growing. And again, if you are new to the channel, don't forget to be part of the amazing family because like I always say, you are amazing. Also, like this video if you enjoyed me just kind of being open with you guys and just one-on-one -on -one talking to you all about what's going on in my personal life because I feel like a lot of YouTubers out there don't really just talk to you guys on a level of just you and I type of thing and I want to get deeper with you guys in that way if that makes sense <laughs> so comment down below any questions that you guys have for me i would love to answer as many questions as i can for you guys only because i know you guys are very curious about a lot of different things going on in my life right now oh before i forget if you have not watched my recent video of me doing my nighttime routine go watch it. it's actually very interesting just because like i never do videos like that and i thought it'd be cool to share that with y'all so go show me some love there you might learn a couple things or two from me although i'm a guy trust but for real for real these words are waiting for me so i'll see you guys in my next video. Peace.